Today is cleaning day for all my bramble eaters. But I just realized there is an animal in this tank that's not a stick insect that does eat bramble, but I have never ever shown them off to you guys. So I think it's about time you met our aliens here. Hello and welcome back to Bug Realms. On this channel we like to discuss all things creepy crawly. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. So again guys, the Christmas jumper, I know I keep bringing it up, but if you want to get one, these will only be available this year till the end of Christmas. And we will design a different one next year, depending if any of you actually wanted one. So <laughs> if I sell a few, we'll make a new one next year. I know it's already coming up very close to Christmas and you're worrying about whether you'll get it in time. If you live in the UK, there are options of postage that can come very, very quickly. If you are not in the UK, eh, you can still get one and it will survive. Survive? Survive? It will last till next year. Anyway, to the point of this video. In here are our horse head grasshoppers with a scientific name on the screen because I haven't got a blimmin clue how to pronounce that. So their enclosure is dirty throughout the week, uh, their bramble is now dying off and it's time to clean them out. So I've moved the camera around so you guys get a better look while I'm cleaning them out. Um, they sometimes do hop out the enclosure but hopefully they're going to behave today and they get everywhere. They camouflage well. You see I've brought out one old piece of bramble and we have a big old female on here already look at that we will have closer looks at these guys in just a moment i just want to get there <laughs> look at that face you see what i mean about aliens that's ridiculous right go on give him a wave give him a wave anyway all right you need to hop off lady please please She is clinging on for dear life here. Come on. Look at that. How monstrously cool is that? Right, come on you. Get off me. Thank you. Oh, this geezer. This is what happens when you deal with the plant eaters here in the realm. Same with the phasmids, you open the enclosure and they just start running away. Okay, so here is how I set mine up. I've got all of these guys on the edges and the top of the enclosure. I use a kitchen towel bottom, place it in and I change this every single week. Um, it doesn't matter if you do forget one week and need to do it a second because they spend most of their time higher up um, but you do need to keep an eye out for any kind of mold that may well grow if you get that you need to get this bottom out quite quickly so there we go kitchen towel bottom next is this tub here it is a tub of soil it needs to be reasonably deep this is where these guys will lay their eggs and this needs to stay moist so i'm just going to dampen this down with some fresh water what i actually like to do is you can see that's unsettled on the top it's almost like flooding it but what this will do will sink down into here and it will last longer so the bottom will stay moist all the time so when they are placing the eggs in it's going to stay damp at all times um, they will dehydrate quite quickly otherwise so it's really important you can see that a lot of this is still stayed dry that's just waiting for this top layer to soak in and once it does so the bottom will stay moist and the top then can just be misted now and again but each week I will kind of flood it a little bit and you place that in. You can do a full substrate bottom, but you won't be able to keep an eye on everything these guys are doing, where they're laying. You could end up crushing eggs or killing eggs. Next thing, their jar for water. You see how this is discolored? 
Now it's really important, so I've got to keep an eye on them. It's really important that same with phasmids as well as these guys that you do change this water out regularly because as you see there's a bit of poo floating in the bottom there. Um, this will make this water really nasty. The plants will then suck up this water and they will then be eating nasty watered plants and we don't want that. So you want to give this a nice little clean out. But while I do that, I don't want any escapees. Now, while these guys were young, um, I used to have a lid on the top with holes in it so they didn't fall and drown, but they're all pretty chunky right now. So I've now taken the lid off, giving access for the brown ball to sway to the sides if need be. Oh, and here is my freshly picked bramble. And you just place them in. Now, you do have to have the bramble branches fairly high when these guys are growing for molting, but because they have a full aluminium cage, it's all mesh everywhere. I Meaning these guys can molt from the top of the cage. They don't have to molt from the branches. Um, I know there's a lot of stick insect species that will choose to molt from a branch um, and those ones you need to be a lot more careful about your placement and your height of your bramble but with these guys I haven't really had that issue. Oh there's an old bit there let's get rid of that and that just goes to show that bit wasn't settled in the water properly over one night and that bramble was practically dead so it's really ow ow bramble that's why it's really important um to make sure that they are sat in water and any animal you keep you don't just put bramble branches in because they won't last okay and here we go just like so so let's have a better look at our alien looking horsehead grasshopper shall we so here is the gang this big one is our big female and you can see this little one here is making a dart for an escape I don't think so pal they are so funny looking right so so funny looking now I'm no expert on these I'm not very good at telling the males and females apart but I would say you could do so by the end of the abdomen this is not focusing very well but her abdomen has a similar shape to a couple others in here Whereas some others will have a different shape, which is why I think some of the others are in fact male. Now I know that the males get nowhere near as big as this female here. At least I'm presuming she's female because as far as I was aware, the males don't get this big and that's how I first thought, ah, oh, this one's the girl. But look at that. I have to move a little bit. The lighting isn't quite in the right place. But how awesome is that? These guys still make me jump when they jump. Um, they're completely harmless. Oh my God, face shot. Doo -doo -doo. Look at that. There is nothing more alien-like in the invert world than that. That is class. Um, as I was saying, yeah, it's just the fact that sometimes their jumps are surprising. And uh, when they were all little, I was petrified sometimes sorting out their enclosures because when they jump, sometimes it's quite hard to find them again. She is awesome, right? Look at those really elongated back legs and that's how she can jump and she can jump well. So, can I one-handed persuade her to go back in on the side of the enclosure? No? Oh, you're going to just sit there. Okay. Come on, you. Oh, I'm trying to give you a hand here, lady. That's it. That's it. In you go. Cool. Right, let's try and get some more shot. Where are you going? Don't you leave this vivarium, please. Yes, stay inside. No, no, where are you going? They're such mischievous inverts. I love it. 
Love it, love it, love it. Can you please stay inside? The uh, one in the corner there is just happily staying there now. So, got no escapee worries there. This one's missing a hind leg as you can see, so failed molt. And then we've got this little dinker here. And then we have got some more dotted around. One on the top there. Where is she going? Hmm. Should we try and get a macro lens on the face of these guys? Because that has got to be the key point for them. I know they've got these huge hind legs. Uh, and they're just so cool anyway. But you've got to admit that it's all about the face on these aliens. So let me go find that lens. That's our little one. Making an escape. Now I do need to do some more research into to, to the actual sexing of these. Um, honestly, they were just... A pet for me they weren't really for YouTube I only really looked at their environmental care um, <laughs> just so funny looking they're just so oh hello are you coming out now it's gonna be chaos here in the realm if I don't start getting these guys back in oh I've had to take macro off a minute look they're all making an escape right we've got three out of the enclosure but I want to get this macro on our lady's face so Oh God. So there's a side view. I'm an alien. That's messed up, right? That is messed up. In a cool way, of course. Hey, 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 hey. Can we turn a little bit? There we go. Frontal shot of the face of our biggest horsehead grasshopper. Oh no. Creepy. Wow, you can even see the uh, patterning on her, which is really quite cool. I like it, I like it a lot. Oh. Oh, we've got four out here now. One, two, three, four. They've got a massive spacious home and they just want to leg it. The one behaving the most is the bulky one. I just realised that we do have quite a difference in abdomen shape. I know it's quite dark here but you can see the shape of this one's abdomen just there. And then if I curve you round ladies and gentlemen you can see the shape on this one's abdomen. So I'm guessing that this one is a boy. Anybody that knows more about these can correct me in the comments below. As I said, I don't really know. This is guesswork here. Where are you going? Where are you going? Okay, we need to get these guys back home. She is now leaving as well. Right. Yes, come to me. Perfectly safe to handle. Great fun for kids, just do not lose them. I want to see if I can get a jump on the camera. Are you going to jump? Oh, that was pathetic. That was not what the audience want to see. Right, you have failed me. Off. No! Stop climbing up my arm. Oh, this is ridiculous. Right, will you come on me? Will you jump if I tap your bum? Oh, that was a good one. There we go. This one is still on my arm. Okay. Come to me. Come to me. You can jump. No. Nope. You're facing the wrong way. When they start climbing. Oh, God. Can you not jump quite that far? You jumped the wrong way. Oh, goodness me. Right, you in. The one that was climbing up my arm, I can't show you because she's right by my face. There she is. I'm only holding her gently. It's the only way I could get her off. Right. How many we got out then? Well that one's on the door so that's alright. You got this one. Oh, don't jump, don't jump yet. Oh, 
They always face this way. The other way, the other way. I had to put the camera down to get that one in. So last one we need to get in is this one here. Right, can we get a finale jump? Seems like the girly ones don't want to jump, but the boys do. Interesting. Ah, ah, ah. Goodness me. It's like dealing with children, this. Hello. Where are you going? Just having an explore? So I want you guys to let me know in the comments below, have you enjoyed seeing our horsehead grasshoppers? Do you own them? Do you know much about them? Any information you can share with me? And don't jump at me. Let's, let's curve your up. You're not going, are you? You're blurring my camera. <sighs> I feel like just leaving her to go where she wants, but I will lose her eventually if I do that. Yes, on the hand. Do you want to climb up the wall? N no, the wall. Yes, the wall. No, the wall. <sighs> this is a nightmare. Can I do it one handed? Come on, Sam. You've got the skills. You deal with stick insects all day long. These ain't nothing on you. There we go. Are you going to dangle now? You're just gonna, just gonna hang out like that. Yeah, that's it. Use, use your mate to balance you. Oh. And there you go. Somebody's drunk. Well, that was a fun video, wasn't it? I actually thoroughly enjoyed just showing you guys my horse head grasshoppers. You know what? I don't. I can't. I need to bend. That's better. I'm just too lazy to adjust the tripod sometimes. Um, I don't normally handle these guys as much as I did today. Um, and now I kind of want to. I usually kind of just have to place one back in and then another one back in. But I don't normally have it open so much that they can just go everywhere because I'm scared of losing them. But doing it on the camera, if one darted in one direction, I'd be able to look at the footage and find out which way it went. <laughs> So that's going to be all for today's video. I just wanted to share you guys my creepy, weird, alien looking inverts that I've thoroughly enjoyed keeping. And I hope to see you next Sunday for the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Bye bye.